is equal to say a sin omega t plus b cos omega t is the standard equation which satisfies this equation of oscillations. Now uh, similarly for spring mass system I write x is equal to a sin omega t or a dash plus b dash cos omega t. Please keep it in mind that when you do the problems on spring mass system if the problem is given that at t is equal to 0 it is at equilibrium position means equilibrium position is here where there is no extension in case of horizontal so when t is equal to 0 this is the position then x is simply a sin omega t and if t is equal to 0 this is the position means there is some initial extension I have given and this is t is equal to 0 if you are starting from here then it becomes x is equal to a cos omega t please keep it in mind and you can get it by putting the initial conditions in this I am not doing it so since you are starting from extreme position so this is my equation for simple harmonic motion for spring mass system and for charge this is q0 cos omega t I give q0 as the initial charge to the capacitor at t is equal to 0 so this is my equation now in the spring mass system now I compare draw the comparisons for spring mass and LC the x which is the displacement from the mean position is comparable this displacement I am showing is comparable to the charge charge in the capacitor and displacement of spring we can compare initial displacement if it is given it is comparable to q0 velocity is dx upon dt and here current is dq upon dt so velocity is compared to current and acceleration is d square x upon dt square and here d square q upon dt square is d i upon d t so d square q upon d t square is comparable to d square x upon d t square or the rate of change of current is comparable to acceleration and and the other things I, I, I'll do as we proceed now we start from this initial location where t is equal to 0 the capacitor is fully charged and we start the process so if this is positive and this is negative current starts flowing like this now let me come let me draw different positions and let me move say time t by 8 this is t by 8 means at this time it is t by 4 but before I reach t by 4 let me take an intermediate position which is t by 8 now if you look at the spring mass system starting from here t by 8 will be somewhere here it is not in the middle of this please remember it is actually a upon root 2 you can easily calculate it it is a upon root 2 t by 8 so the displacement has decreased when you move t by 8 similarly the, since the capacitor had sta started discharging its charge has reduced to Q but it is still positive it's still negative current is still flowing in this direction and here the magnetic field had just started building up the magnetic field is now building up here I is 0 so let me not show any magnetic field so here the magnetic field starts building up so the energy initial energy is Q0 square upon twice C plus what is the, this is the electrical energy and this is the magnetic energy is 0 and here you have both the magnetic energy and the electrical energy that is Q square upon twice C plus L D I upon D T or L I square upon 2 I write L I square upon 2 is the energy in the solenoid or the inductor and I is the current which is flowing 
and let here it will be north it will be south north south will depend on the how the windings of the coil is there same coil if i wind in the opposite direction it can be south above and north below it has nothing to do with this arrow and this north so let the coil winding be such that north appears here south appears here now this is the position of t by 8 i move further t by 8 then i come at t by 4 this is t by 4 of spring mass system and you see at t by 4 the velocity is maximum so the velocity is maximum means the current is maximum so i maximum happens here so this is the position where i is maximum at this place there is no displacement no displacement then this is compared to charge so there is no charge left on the capacitor it starts discharging it is discharged here and the mag the current flow is maximum and magnetic field here is maximum and the entire energy which was q q0 square upon tau c is now l i maximum square upon 2 is so the electrical energy has been converted into the magnetic energy at the time t is equal to t by 4 similarly here the spring energy which was half k kx square gets converted into the energy which is the kinetic energy which is half mv square so just notice that when you come at further t by 8 here what will be the direction of current just think over whether the current will reverse its direction or what will happening here the current is flowing clockwise 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 it is maximum so current will start dying the current's magnitude will de decrease but the direction is still the same so magnetic field will also start falling current will start falling but the direction is same and just compare the velocity started here it is v max now velocity is falling but velocity is all through in the same direction till t by 2 so till t by 2 which is here the current direction you show in the same direction but now here it was discharged now current is still flowing like this so this plate becomes positive and this becomes negative it's getting charged further if you come at this place now here the current completely stops it was rising it is maximum it is falling and now i stops and there is no magnetic field magnetic energy here the entire energy is now with the capacitor which is q0 square upon twice c but in the charging plates is opposite this is positive negative here it is positive negative here and if you compare with spring mass system it is a in that direction now the displacement is just in the opposite direction here velocity is zero here current is zero so the spring energy was half ka square initially the same as spring energy comes back now same cycle repeats when you come further this is for the t by 2 and when you further right now the current current was flowing initially in this direction now the current will just flow in the reverse direction in this cycle the which is in the next t by 2 this is first t by 2 this is next t by 2 now the flow of current will be in this direction and now here you are having north south like this north south north south here north will be here and south will be here just the polarity the magnetic polarity or the poles will get reversed like here the charges got reversed here the polarities are now getting reversed and the current is flowing in this direction and this capacitance starts discharging here it was q0 now it is q still it is positive it is negative now we come to this location at this location you have maximum current but which is now in the opposite direction as compared to this i maximum maximum magnetic field north south but it is in the opposite direction as compared to this and capacitor becomes discharged same thing happens and now in this process when you come again t by 8 here there is no space i am not doing it capacitor again starts charging 
in the opposite direction and you come back to the original charge of the capacitor when you complete the when the cycle is completely completed now few things which you have to keep in mind in this the problems which may come is you may be asked the value of i maximum is dq upon dt i is dq upon dt and i maximum happens at t is equal to t by 4 so at t is equal to t by 4 means i is nothing q is equal to q0 cos omega t dq upon dt i is dq upon dt is equal to minus q0 sin omega t into omega so maximum magnitude is dq upon dt forget the sign I am now just looking at the magnitude is omega q0 is the maximum value of the current and what is the value of the the x the acceleration or the di upon dt di upon dt is maximum if you compare with the spring mass system where the acceleration is maximum acceleration is maximum at these points so at t is equal to 0 and t is equal to t by 2 di upon dt is maximum maximum at t is equal to 0 and at t is equal to t by 2 so calculate the value of d by di by dt so again differentiate it d square q upon dt square is di upon dt which is equal to minus omega square q0 cos omega t so it is maximum at magnitude is maximum I'm not looking at direction maximum value is omega square q0 is the maximum value of d i upon dt maximum which is nothing but 1 upon lc into q0 so q0 upon lc is the maximum rate of change of current so if you are able to compare if you are able to compare the basic parameters with spring mass system it becomes easier to visualize the lc oscillations